Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in today's video we're going to talk about the progress bar and its impact on the macro performance. Okay, in previous video I was showing you guys my simple example of the progress bar and we were talking about the advantages I mean that progress bar allows you to watch the macro performance and you exactly know where your macro is in which point of the macro your code is but we didn't talk about its impact on the macro itself and that's why today I prepared for you a simple worksheet with the data, 10 columns and 30,000 uh, rows of data, just numbers from 1 to 10 and this code which allows me to prepare this data is here, uh, simple two loops with the random function and for today's case I will use this code which will be checking the cells and if it's modulo 2 will bring the 0 um, there goes the first color and if not there goes the second color um, for the first time we won't be using the progress bar that's why I commented out those lines so let's give it a try okay so as you can see it took about 90 19 seconds to color out the cells uh, this to color out all of this data and now we want to see how the code will perform with the progress bar and as you can see I was uh, I looped through rows and columns and using this configuration I will uncomment those rows like that and like that and set the blank okay and let's try with the progress bar as you can see it's iterating through all the rows and yeah, maybe let's not speed it up let's wait because it was just a few seconds longer okay it's almost done and the final result it took with the progress bar like that it took about 35 seconds to go so there goes the sad part of this video because we saw where the macro was on which point of the code and we could know how much time will it take to end the code but unfortunately we slowed down our macro so is it a bad attitude to use the progress bar in your code no but you need to use it wisely for example you let's use it this case do you really need to watch performance every every row in like like in this case maybe you can see the progress every 10 rows 100 rows knowing that it's a big worksheet it's a big amount of data and it's about 30,000 rows so you can refresh the progress bar every 1000 rows maybe this is the solution let's try it and we will use the same function as we used to to fill with the color ourselves yeah mod mm, okay then okay now let's put here brackets and try let's try this approach okay as as you can see 
it is behaving, it's performing much much faster and let's wait for the final result the, the time result and we can see it's 19 seconds so it's it's almost the same amount of time as we were executing the macro without progress bar. Um, another solution for this case might be changing the order of the loops. If you know that in your worksheet the amount of columns is smaller than the amount of rows, you can start to loop with the rows. So let's change the order of the loops. Okay. And here, for now, we will comment it out and refresh um, every column. Okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay it's working nicely I think this, it will be the same amount of time as it was in a previous example <laughs> my my results just just trolling me but you can see there's a result it's less than in the previous example and it's the same same thing it's almost the same like it was at the beginning where we didn't use the progress bar so also if you have more than 10 columns like in this case for example 100 you can use the if function and for example every 10 columns just to refresh the progress bar every 10 columns and it, it will also perform very very good so to sum up the progress bar it's a really nice thing which allows you to watch the performance of your macro but you have to remember that you need to use it wisely really wisely because as you as you saw during the first example of using the progress bar we slowed down the performance from the almost 19 seconds to 35 it was like that because we were calling out the progress function to refresh the macro every row and it was not really the best idea and that's why we used the if function to refresh every 1000 rows or just change the order of the loops to call out the progress function to refresh the progress bar less often than in the case with the rows so that's all for now i hope you'll keep it in mind while using the progress bar in your macros thank you for watching thank you for listening please leave a like and comment in the comment section also please subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot uh, i also invite you to my website simplexlvba.com where i'm posting my articles and stay awesome guys See you in the next video.